relevant experience. To earn up to 90 credits toward a bachelor's, graduate students can transfer up to 12 credits toward their master's. At UMGC, you'll find everything. Online to hybrid courses, lifetime career services to scholarship opportunities, making your education journey flexible, fast, and affordable. Undergraduate and most graduate courses start September 18th. Learn more at umgc.edu. Certified to operate in Virginia by... My husband and I were ready to sell our home of 25 years, so we got it appraised. We thought we knew what to expect, but when our home appraisal came back, we felt robbed. Compared to a similar home, right around the corner, our appraisal was $80,000 less. That's a big difference. It was the same type of home in the same neighborhood, in the same condition and age. A recent study found that Latino... What's your claim, Val? What's scared? Here? Oh, Do you want to say home or something? Next. We're getting pizza. What the f? Add to a piece. Add to the pizza. What the hell? Why? President Trump traveling alongside a controversial conservative activist, Laura Loomer. Fox's Mark Meredith. The Trump campaign facing growing questions about a woman who's been showing up a lot around the former president, and that is conservative activist Laura Loomer. She's been called a fringe conspiracy theorist because she called 9 11 an inside job. But Trump says he wants to keep her around. He posted on True Social, quote, Loomer doesn't work for the campaign. She's a private citizen and longtime supporter. I disagree with the statements that she's made, but like millions of people who support me, she's tired of watching the radical left Marxists and fascists violently attack and smear me. We'll look to see if Loomer continues to show up with Trump on the trail. He is going to be back in Battleground State later on this week. Loomer appeared alongside the former president at 9-11 memorial events earlier this month. At least 15 are dead, 40 others seriously injured in Haiti after a tanker truck full of gasoline flipped and exploded. The Prime Minister posting the news on X. Local radio reporting 17 dead. Fighting between gangs, making importing supplies difficult, leaving hospitals poorly equipped to treat severe burn victims. America's listening to Fox News. Podcast Network. I'm Emily Campagno, and this is the Fox True Crime Podcast. I have nothing to do with her disappearance, but people still accuse me of it. I sit down with the people who lived the nightmares. I was in shock. I was just devastated. The investigators who tirelessly worked on the case. I feel for their families, and I really hope that they can catch this guy. Radio? The story that you ever thought huh? radio? Well, no. Music? No, music? No, it's not music. Ball games? Get all of your favorite Do I always want? Cardinal Swans. News podcast huh? plus from Dana Perino, Kenny, Ben Dominic, the Duffy's, and many more. Cardinal Swans. By going to FoxNewsPodcast.com. The Fox News. She's been on display at small. Because you won't hear anywhere else. Your daily dose of news twice a day, featuring insight from top newsmakers, reporters, and Fox News contributors. Listen and subscribe now by going to FoxNewsPodcast.com. The leaders of the U.S. and U.K. discuss the latest developments in the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war. Fox's Stephanie Bennett reports from London. The U.S. and U.K., they share the same message that they want their weapons that they're providing to Ukraine to be more defensive than offensive. 
Now, President Vladimir Zelensky has been pleading with allies for months, as we know, to let Ukraine fire Western-made long-range missiles deep into Russia to combat Moscow's attacks. And of course, this comes as Ukraine now faces a new wave of potential terror after the State Department says Iran gave Russia short-range ballistic missiles. Now, Kyiv has asked to use U.S.-made attackums, and the U.K. has been providing storm shadow missiles, which Biden would also need to sign off on for Ukraine to use, because some of those components are U.S.-made as well. And the U.K., like the U.S., is not allowing Ukraine to launch them against sites in Russia amid fears of escalation. The U.S. allowing Ukraine to use U.S.-made weapons only for defense counterstrikes. A study by the National Institute of Health suggests there is not enough evidence to link a set of symptoms experienced by multiple federal agents stationed in several countries and known as Havana Syndrome to attacks by foreign adversaries. The NIH has abruptly shut down its long-term study of Havana Syndrome patients, citing an internal review that found the subjects had been coerced to participate without their informed consent, though the report says not on the part of NIH researchers. NIH has stopped the study out of an abundance of caution, adding, in NIH's assessment, these investigative findings do not impact the conclusions of the study. The initial patient showing Havana syndrome symptoms raised concerns that the CIA was including people who did not fit the profile, resulting in watered-down data. The CIA said its inspector general has been made aware of the findings. At the Pentagon, Jennifer Griffin, Fox News. Severe headaches, dizziness, blurred vision, tinnitus, and vertigo among the symptoms usually following a loud noise. I'm Ann Carrick. This is Fox News. A huge thank you to the amazing St. Joseph community. This is Tyler Reed from Reed Chevy. We are blown away by the incredible response to our brand new Chevy facility at the new Reed Auto Plaza. Your support means the world to us. Come experience the difference for yourself. We've got a state-of-the-art facility, a massive selection, and top-notch service. Find us right in front of Menards at the all-new Reed Auto Plaza today. Reed Auto Group is values-driven. Reed Chevrolet. Together, let's drive. This is Sergeant Shane Hux. Drivers, always watch for pedestrians along your route. Be sure to slow down and be prepared to stop when turning or otherwise entering a crosswalk. Yield to pedestrians and crosswalks and stop well before the crosswalk. Reduce your speed in school zones and neighborhoods where children are present. Follow the rules of the road, obey signs and signals, and watch traffic instead of your phone. This is a public service announcement from your Missouri State Highway Patrol. The following program does not necessarily reflect the views of AFEC regular. We go to Dusky joins us. He is the author of the Nationalist Populist Newsletter on Substack, also founder of the 1776 Project Pack. Ryan, good to have you as always. Thanks for having me. Let's take a look first at the numbers as you see them today, the day after the debate. What are the debate numbers and what are the poll numbers looking like as much as we can dive into that data? Debate numbers, we'll start with that. The CNN Insta poll results had Kamala winning the debate with 63% and Trump having 37%. 37% of viewers said Trump won, 63% Kazakh Trump won. This is fairly in line with almost every single debate Trump has ever had. CNN Insta polls, that's Kim, I mean, which are not, you know, sciences, right afterwards, only among viewers. Trump got 27% versus Hillary 62% in 2016, and in 2020, in the first debate with Biden, he got 28% to Biden's 60%. Trump is not a very good debater, never really has been, with the sole exception of the last debate with Joe Biden. Trump has never won a single debate in a CNN Insta poll. Going into how he's performing election-wise, according to all the major poll aggregate websites, in the national polls, Trump is either behind from one point to three points, and that's according to uh, poll aggregates, including Nate Silver, including 538, The Economist, Race to the White House, Voter Hub, JHK uh, Forecast. They all have five tri Kamala with a lead, but it's a slight lead. It's a lead between one and three points, as I said. 
If there is a in Kamala's favor, the same way there was a polling error in, um, in Joe Biden's favor in 2020 and in Hillary's favor in 2020.